Germany will end its participation in the European Union training mission in Mali, but it is ready to continue with the UN peacekeeping mission in the country under certain conditions. That's according to Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht. We are unterstützen zurzeit in Mali die dortige Regierung. We are currently supporting the government in Mali by training soldiers at a high level. And for us, the question rightly arises, and we have also answered it for ourselves. Whether we want to continue doing this in the future, because it means that well-trained Malian soldiers will then later go into battle with Russian forces and commit cruel violations of human rights. The exit raised questions about the futures of the 14,000-strong United Nations peacekeeping mission, UNISMA, and the European Union's EUTM and UCAP missions. The decision comes a month after Human Rights Watch accused Malian troops and suspected Russian fighters of executing around 300 civilian men in central Mali town. And just over two months into Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which Moscow calls a special operation. The West African country's army denied the Human Rights Watch allegations. Mali and Russia have previously said the Russians in the country are trainers helping local troops with equipment brought from Russia. Germany was willing to continue its participation in the MUNISMA peacekeeping mission if the UN made sure that shortfalls created by the French withdrawal were filled to ensure the safety of German soldiers, Lambrecht said.